Marzola's first professional bout as a mixed martial arts fighter in a Nevada casino is do or die for his career. Not, nothing, nothing compares to the real, the real fight, you know, the real life and death. This was Corporal Kane Marzola fighting for his life 12 years earlier as a Marine in Ramadi, Iraq, where I first met him while embedded with his Fox 25 unit, also known as the Blackhearts. Two members of his unit have since committed suicide. Kane has been battling his PTSD since he was first diagnosed while still in the Marines and afterwards when he went to his local VA hospital for treatment. But when they started getting me on, on the medications, I lost all of that. I lost what made me special, what made me different, what made me stand out amongst my peers. I just was a zombie. I didn't care. I didn't have a fight. No more fight left in me. I knew I had to do something. I had a twin brother who was already a professional fighter. He was also a, a combat veteran Marine through Tours to Fallujah. Since taking his PTSD therapy into his own hands three years ago, by training to become a mixed martial arts fighter, He's gotten off the VA's prescription drugs, his self-medicating alcohol binges, and he has shed over 100 pounds in his bid to regain his fighting spirit. I had an outlet for it, and I was training next to my brother, you know, another Marine who had been through the same things I had been through. It wasn't like talking to a therapist. My first reaction is I, I hope other people don't see this and do this at home on their own. Psychiatrist Dr. Michael Jaffe first started treating PTSD patients at the VA hospital in Palo Alto, California. In his private practice, he specializes in helping PTSD patients get beyond their traumatic experiences, which continue to hold them back. So if you practice and get trained to be a, a warrior, uh, there's not a lot of practicing and training to not be a warrior. So you have skills in you that are adapted to that world, you're pro you know, almost programmed. Given any of us given the option between feeling like a failure or giving a fight in something we have a reasonable battle to win, we'll probably choose the fight. LD Gun Fights! Kane and his brother Kenny Marzola also fight professionally as a team in this live action pistol range in Las Vegas. Former military and current law enforcement officers come here to test their mortal combat skills against each other with real weapons, firing simulated ammunition, which still hurts, and eventually ending up in hand-to-hand -hand combat. My earliest childhood memories was of being a gladiator, being a fighter in the ring or in an arena in front of an audience, hearing the, the crowd chant my you know, my name, because that's where I truly feel alive. Yeah, we might be called killers. There's Americans think that goes on, you know, on combat deployments. Do you ever wish that you could do something else, that you could get all this trauma, all this violence behind you, and go on to something kinder and gentler? I like doing things that make me feel alive or make me present in the moment. And I'm not saying that my way is the best way, because we're all on our own individual journeys. I just know that there's a lot of people out there that have a lot of the same experiences. Maybe haven't thought it, about it the way that I've thought about it. Uh, I'm a little concerned he's going right back into the trauma, but according to him, it, it, it's different because there you're fighting for your life back in Iraq, back in Afghanistan. Here, it's, uh, it's controlled. But for me, looking as an outsider, it, it looks like he's putting himself back in trauma. Every time I say up, you say veteran. Every time I say down, you say down. Up! Veteran! <laughs> Marines he fought with in Iraq as fellow Blackhearts and other vets have come to his Las Vegas gym from around the country to train with him for his big fight and their personal battles with PTSD. I try to get these guys to remember is that, hey, you've already done great things and you're gonna, you can continue to do even better. It's never over. One, two, three, yes! The first victory is the way in, you know? That's the first time I, I raised my hands is making making it to 155 pounds. When you go from 255 pounds and you can step on a scale and it says 155, wow. The extreme loss of weight and fluids fighters endure to make their fighting weights left Kane severely dehydrated the night before the fight. His fellow Blackheart Marine, Cody Lenz, had to give him a saline IV in his hotel room to make sure he could carry on. Given how far Kane Marzola's had to come and overcome, just to get here for his first shot at a professional fight is a victory in itself. But probably not enough for him 
or all the vets coming in from around the country to be in his corner for yet another fight of his life. Win or lose, this is a win. Stepping in there, you know, going through what I went through, this is a win. It's important having other Marines and veterans who have been following my journey to be there to see me accomplish a goal. It's not about the fight, it's a dream. His professional fighting dream is a nightmare for his wife, Kelsey, who retreats backstage rather than watch him fight. Um, my greatest concern about him fighting is that um, he's, he's one, either going to get hurt, or two, um, the PTSD is going to come into that a little bit and it's going to make it go backwards instead of going forward. This fight is everything for Kane. It's life and death of his fighting career. If he loses tonight, of the level of competition, pro debut, his age, if he loses, uh, he can kiss his career goodbye. His younger, taller, and more experienced opponent took him down and almost out in the first round. While his family and former brothers-in-arms stood by helplessly, Kane managed to hold on to the bell. The second round was a different story. Kane Kong Marzola lived up to his new professional name. His history of leading from the front as a Marine Blackheart with Fox 25 and accomplished the mission. Not everyone's cut out to be a fighter, you know, but everybody can train because life is a fight. I'm not training my ass off every single day for a competition. I train my ass off every day for the real competition, the real fight, and that's life. In Laughlin, Nevada, Mike Saray reporting for Globe TV.